Welcome back to the Suburban Dad channel. We got a bunch of snow, so in this episode we're going to be plowing snow at the airport with the 5460. Hope you enjoy! Good morning. It is 5 a.m. on January 18th, and we are in the middle of a winter storm in Colorado and so what that means is I got to go down to the airport and plow some more snow so but first I got to get out of my driveway and get there and as you can see it is a winter wonderland here <laughs> the car is covered and uh, the streets are covered and they really do a very poor job of plowing our streets so I gotta drive down to the airport. Here we go. You'll notice me taking a windshield cover off here in this video. My wife bought me that a couple years ago and man, has it been nice. Uh, it just keeps the, keeps the ice from forming on the windshield. And as we're leaving the neighborhood here, I just wanna make a public service announcement. If you have not yet learned how to drive in snow, please go out and practice. I drive a two-wheel drive Hyundai Sonata and one of my favorite winter games is to see how many four-wheel drives I can pass on the way to the airport. Here we go. Now to be fair, there's more to driving in snow than just going. You need to be able to stop as well. And, and really, that's what four-wheel drive does for you, is it makes it so you can go. Doesn't necessarily make it so you can stop. Although, if you have a stick shift or a or manual transmission, four-wheel drive stopping is really easy. You just downshift and the wheels slow down, the car slows down. I don't think that's the case with most of the vehicles I passed this morning. I think the real problem is that people just really have never been educated in how to drive in snow. As long as the wheels are straight and you're not turning or stopping, you can you can drive fast on snow I think what it requires is an awareness of what is in front of you you know keeping track of the other cars on the road and saying okay is that guy gonna stop quickly or, or attempt to stop quickly in front of me or is somebody turning or is somebody gonna pull out if you're not paying attention you can get in real trouble The bottom line for me, and, and I think the thing that really drives me crazy, is people that are doing 25 miles an hour when the rest of the traffic is doing 50. That's, that's a recipe for disaster. Anyway, driving rant over. We're getting here to the airport and we're going to take a look and see what we got last night. Yeah, it's pretty snowy. Now normally I wouldn't come down here and start plowing until after the snow had stopped. But we got people that come in and work at the offices here at the hangar, so got to get the parking lot plowed at least. Um, I might wait on the ramp just, just until the snow slows down, but this is what we're dealing with. Alright, here we are in the vestibule here <laughs> uh we're getting ready to clear the sidewalks first so um only about four inches of snow down here not too bad um so we'll we'll clear that off clear the get get the sidewalks cleared off first with the uh trusty shovel and the old toro power clear 721e uh that thing works really well but here we go and because there's never a good time to ask this, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do it. It really helps me out. Thanks. I decided I'd show you the snowblower in real time. This thing is a single stage snowblower, so you wouldn't think it would do real well, but man, it does a great job. It doesn't throw the snow real far, but it moves a lot of snow 
and it moves it pretty quick. I want to point out one of the only downsides of storing this thing inside. The plastic's nice and warm, the machine's nice and warm, so the snow melts as it comes in contact with it and it sticks. You saw it happen right there. It's going to happen here again as we're going down the other way. Once it cools off, which doesn't take long in this, this weather, it throws snow fine, but right in the beginning it's not so great. And you may or may not believe it, but a little cooking spray sprayed on the throat of that the uh, thrower there makes a big difference in how easy that thing throws snow. That's the sidewalks cleaned up for now. I'll come back and redo them here in just a minute. Uh, but let's get plowing. I know most of you won't believe this, but Kubota is really an innovator when it comes to implements and attachments on their tractors. They make it really easy to take things off and put things back on. This is a classic cable drive bifold door that's on a lot of different hangers. Pretty reliable, huge, and heavy. You really wouldn't want the cables to give out while you're underneath of it because that would be a really bad day. We didn't get as much snow this time as we have previously, so I was able to get this done a lot quicker. You're able to take a lot bigger bite of snow when you have less snow to move. You can see here it's very similar to the last time we plowed snow. Snow is still coming in and it's creating really slippery conditions as I clear the snow off the warm pavement. And because I don't have a car in the way, now I'm able to clear this back part of the parking lot in just a couple passes instead of pushing all the snow to the back. Makes it way easier when you don't have a car in the way. All right. So that's the parking lot cleared for now. The snow is still coming down pretty good. You can see the, the sidewalk that I already cleared is gonna be due again here pretty soon. But anyway, we're gonna take this thing to the back and go plow the back. Several of you have mentioned in the comments that I should get either wings on my plow or maybe a bigger plow or a, uh, a blower on the on the tractor. Um, we really don't get a ton of snow out here. I mean, it, it seems like I'm moving it quite a bit this year, but we really run that thing four or five times a year, and that's about it. And so it really doesn't make sense for us to make the investment in in better equipment uh, when we just have this small ramp to clear. So, and I don't mind doing it. It's it's a lot of fun. All right, got her all done. Got the sidewalk salted, so those are all done. 
and the first people that are showing up to the offices are here so they had nice clean sidewalks to walk on got to get some more salt down right there but the tractor did a great job as always and uh that's it the snow's still coming down but we're we're gonna call it for the day so um you can see over here that uh, airport's still moving snow and planes are covered in it but anyway hope you have a good day and uh we'll catch you next time we're plowing out here And just a little bonus footage for you. Uh, we gotta go put gas in the tractor. So we're gonna go do that. Putting gas in the tractor is one of the few times that I actually take it off of our property. It's nice that there's a gas station right around the corner. Makes it really easy to fill it up. Well, that'll about do it for us today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.